we are rolling okay. we want to work this question out we are supposed to determine the value of x for which the determinant of matrix m is 18 and matrix m is given by these elements these ones are called columns so we have three columns and these ones across are called rows now these values that are forming the matrix m are called <coughs> elements and this now because it has three rows and three columns it is called a three by three matrix so to get the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix, we will proceed as follows. We take the first element here, which is 1. So we get the determinant of M, which is sometimes written as vertical bars with M in the center, is given by, take this first element here, which is 1, we cover the row in which it sits, we cover this row, and we cover this column here, you will remain with a new matrix which is a 2 by 2. So you write this 2 by 2 matrix in vertical bars as 1 x, 1 plus x, 1. Then you put a negative. Then you write the second element here which is x. You cover the row in which it sits and the column in which it sits then you get a 2 by 2 matrix so we will cover this one here then we cover this row we remain with this element this element this element and that element we form a 2 by 2 matrix <coughs> so we have 1 plus x and x here we have x and 1 then we write the next element here with a positive sign which is 1 plus x then we form a new 2 by 2 matrix by covering this column here and that row so we will remain with this element this this and that we form a 2 by 2 matrix 1 plus x 1 x 1 plus x that's how we get the determinant of a 3 by 3 matrix. Now from here, we are going to get the determinant of this 2 by 2 matrix, which is equal to 1 into, get the product of the leading diagonal, which is 1 times 1, subtract the product of the minor diagonal, which is x into 1 plus x, we close the bracket. <coughs> We do the same for this matrix and that matrix. So we have minus x into, get the product of this leading diagonal, that's 1 plus x times 1, it remains as 1 plus x. We are subtracting the product of the minor diagonal, which is x times x, and gives us x squared. We do the same for the other one. We have 1 plus x into, get the product of the leading diagonal, which is 1 plus x squared minus product of the minor diagonal is x. From there, we're going to simplify and get the determinant of m as, if you open this bracket, you get 1 minus x minus x squared. Open this bracket here with negative x, you get negative x, negative x squared plus x cube. Now open this bracket first before you open it with 1 plus x. So we'll write this information up here. I hope I'm not going to disrupt you. So we rewrite this one here as uh, 1 plus x into if you square this one, you get 1 plus 2x plus x squared. Then we remember to subtract this one, minus x, close the bracket. It has weakness in this space up here, so we get 1, this one here, 
this and these are like terms. You can put them together as negative two x. And uh, this and these are like terms. We can put them together as minus two x squared. Then we have x cube alone here. We have x cube. Then put these terms together. So we have one plus x into one. Then these and these are like terms. Two x minus x is plus x. Then we have plus x squared alone. <coughs> Remember that is the determinant of m. Now we can open this bracket before we do any other substitution. So we have 1 minus 2x minus 2x squared plus x cubed. We open this bracket using 1. So we have 1 into 1 plus x plus x squared. Then we also open that bracket with plus x into 1 plus x plus x squared. So this gives us 1 minus 2x minus 2x squared plus x cubed. If you open this bracket, you remain with 1 plus x plus x squared. If you open this bracket, you get plus x plus x squared plus x cubed. <coughs> then you put like terms together. There is x squared here, there is x squared here, there is x squared there. We want to put them together. There is one here, there is one here, we put them together. Then there is x cubed here and x cubed there. We put them together. So 1 plus 1 gives us 2. We have minus 2x. There is x here, there is x here. So when we put them together, we get plus 2x. Then there is negative 2x squared, this one here. There is x squared here and x squared here. When we put them together, we get plus 2x squared. Then we have x cubed here, which is x cubed. There is another x cubed here. We put them together, we get. Uh, so you can, you can put them together and get 2x cubed. That is the determinant of m. Remember, we're supposed to get the value of x for which the determinant of matrix M is 18. So this matrix M, this determinant is this one, is equated to 18. Okay? Now, this is positive, no, this is negative, but this is positive, so they can cancel out. This one is negative, this one is positive so they cancel out what do we remain with 2 plus 2x cubed we have 2 plus 2x cubed equated to 18 again put like terms together this is 2 this is 18 so we can subtract 2 from both sides negative 2 plus 2 plus 2x cubed is equal to 18 minus 2 this one will cancel out, we remain with 2x cubed is equal to 16. We can reduce it by dividing both sides by 2. So we get x cubed is equal to 8. What are we going to do next? We're going to take cube root both sides. So we take the cube root of x cubed is equal to the cube root of 8. What is the cube root of x cubed? We get x. And what is the cube root of 8? We get 2. Therefore, the value of x for which the determinant of matrix M is 18 is equal to 2. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you so much. <laughs>